Hi friends, today I wanted to show you a quick walkthrough through PicMonkey. I love PicMonkey. I started using that program when I first started thinking about, okay, I need to get a software, you know, where I can explore a little bit more. I started using some apps, but and I will show you that in other videos. But for today, I wanted to show you PicMonkey. They have a free version and they have a pro version i started off with the free version my friends and i will show you the difference of the thumbnails of the free version and of the pro version and i want to show you all the features you know how they work I'll quickly not as thorough but as quickly what features they offer and you know the price is good in my opinion i think the price is good and it's super super awesome good investment for youtube to make to help you make those thumbnails pop so let's get started my friends okay my friends we are gonna go into pick monkey i already have like a little shortcut i can open my laptop and we go into pick monkey so <clears throat> these are all the thumbnails that i've created on the top here it says auto save my hub so Every time you create a uh, thumbnail, you when you download it, it's going to go into here. Auto save to my hub. So then these are all the thumbnails that I've created, my channel art, everything here. And then you can just press on any thumbnail. If you want to go back later on and switch something, you press here. And then this comes up. You press edit image. It takes you back to the image and you can edit whatever you want. So we're going to close it. And then right here, up here, my friends, create new. It gives you create new from computer, blank canvas, templates, collage, stock photos, stock videos. So then... A little bit down here it gives you the feature templates and then up here you can press see all templates and it takes you to all the templates and a little bit lower right here collage layouts and blank canvases so let's go in here to this one right here let's press there and here it takes you to choose a blank canvas so then here my friends you can choose whatever template whatever you know size you want and it has different options for every social media and it works amazing because it already it automatically starts when you choose a template, it automatically sizes it up for you. Okay, now let's go down. So let's say, let's say I wanna do a Facebook event cover. Let's press on there and it takes you to the blank canvas and up here it says Facebook event cover over here on this section right here it says text your graphics your photo and video what you upload your drawing and then it says here your text you press on text and it gives you all the fonts and if you press add text, it gives you this. But that will be here, my friends. It gives you all the options that you can choose from. You go all the way, all the way down. And then over here, my friends, it says choose text color. It choose the size you want the text from. It has the text spacing, the 
fill-in image or the anime that has the anime feature which in another video i will show you how it works it has erase it has fade and blend you can um switch the position and then down here it has edits it has touch up for pictures effects textures frames and then you can put your own little comments and then up here it can take you back to templates it can take you back to collages the themes you press here for themes this is so so cool especially for the holidays my friends it has santa winterland brush and br brush and br varnish it has all the themes here that you can pick from and then you can resize it here and then if you want to add image just press here let's say i'm gonna get one from my computer let's say i'm gonna choose this one and then we're gonna open it over here and it brings the picture over here and then you just press on the picture right here and then it switches it over here and then you can start your all your editing and then let's say i'm already done editing you're gonna go up here into your download press it and then you're gonna press download and then up here Facebook event is going to tell you that it downloaded it. And then you should find it in all your downloads in your computer. And then you can just move it where you want to um, use it to. Let's go back to home. So as you can see, my friend, and then you see it automatically saves to your auto save to my hub. It automatically saves all the stuff that you have worked on. And then you can just go back later and um, work on it again. Now, feature templates. Let's press here, all templates. And right here. And then you can press here. Let's see. Let's search a template. Let's say I want to do a YouTube thumbnail. And it gives you already the templates done. So you scroll up and you just choose the one that catches your eye, the one that you think that you might want to use. And then let's say you press on this one and you can replace this photo with another photo. I'm gonna give you a little demonstration. It says down here, you press on it and then you say replace image, replace image. And then let's put, let's say computer. And let's say I want to use this one again. And you see, it replaces it. It's super awesome. Super, super easy, my friends. You're going to love this app. I loved it. I started with the free version and then... I did the pro and I'm just loving all these amazing features and it definitely, definitely helped everything that I want to accomplish for my thumbnails here on YouTube. Okay, my friends, I am going to show you the difference of when I started. I, um when i started to make thumbnails way way back then so let me go all the way down all the way down i first started using pic monkey and let me tell you my friends i've come a long way like seriously my friends let me show you look at all these thumbnails my friends oh my gosh I spent, I've spent so many sleepless nights, you know, learning how to do this. And 
I mean, it just takes patience and it takes time. But you can totally do this, my friends. You can totally do this. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. When I used to have a toy channel. Okay, let me just show you the difference. Okay, you see here. You see here, look at the background. Look at the background. It's a little bit, you know, sketchy. Look at here. I used to freehand with an app on the phone erase everything from the background and that's why it would look choppy i don't know if you can tell look at the letters okay now i'm going to show you with pick monkey when i first you know when when i got more practice when when i decided to get the pro of course I've managed the the look from the background I can take backgrounds off for example this one okay look at this one look at the difference my friends look at the difference i've managed how to learn how to smooth the background i've managed how to do the outline how to make myself pop more i've managed how to make the letters pop more add a little bit of sparkle i mean it all takes patience my friends and you can totally do this and i'm going to show you how so click on this channel my friends if you want to keep on learning my tips and tricks now by all means i am not expert but i will teach you what i've learned along the way i hope you found this video very informative i hope it helped you decide whether you still want to stick with the free version of pig monkey or the pro either one you can start up no pressure you know for beginners i started that way and let me tell you, Pig Monkey has been a lifesaver for me. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer you, my friends. Thank you so much. Join me in my next video. Bye.